Hi, and welcome to lesson one of week seven, section six five in our textbook, <clears throat> Financial Algebra. That's page 316. Um, this is the video for lesson one. A uh, little FYI, in 1114 of uh, 2017, GE, which is a giant company that was just the darling of the stock market for over two decades, um, in the 80s and into 2000, the company's value rose 4,000%. It's declined as low as 6.54 in February of 2009 and now sits at 11.36. Uh, this is um, uh, from November of 2018. Uh, they got one CEO, John Flanner, he was named. Uh, he was fired on October of 2018, and another fellow, H. Lawrence Culp Jr., took over. That's about two years ago. And their stock right now trades at about 6.68 as of yesterday, and is actually been rated a buy by some financial houses. Um, so maybe they're turning around after a long slide. Let's go back to our last notes page. Um, <clears throat> that would be October 22nd, 23rd. Day two of six three commissions royalties, uh, and let's write down a question in our left hand column. Uh, the example I have here is how do I determine total pay for someone who was paid hourly and by a piecework rate? Um, you just multiply the hours by the hourly rate, and then you multiply the pieces by the piece rate, and you add them together. When you do that, circle your twenty four, and. Uh, you can stop your video at any time and restart it when you're ready to go. Let's title our next page as follows. <clears throat> Six five Social Security Medicare Day 1. That's the 27th, 28th of October. Our learning target is I'll be able to compute a paycheck deduction for Social Security and Medicare. Please read page 316. And... Uh, define these vocabulary words, Social Security, Federal Insurance Contributions Act, or FICA, the FICA tax, Social Security tax, Medicare tax, maximum taxable income, and Social Security number. Now, what follows are going to be the pages in our textbook, but you will need to stop your video, read the page, and then hit play again. Here is the first uh, two paragraphs of our reading. What are Social Security and Medicare? Please note that several of the things I ask you to define are listed here. Federal Insurance Contribution Act, or FICA, Social Security Tax, Medicare Tax, FICA Taxes. Stop your video, read this two paragraphs, and then hit play again. Here are the next two paragraphs in uh, the reading for today. When you're done reading them, hit play again. And the final uh, paragraph of our reading. When you're done reading this, hit play again. Here's an example of <clears throat> our example one from the textbook, which is, uh, we're going to have a, another slide on later, So, but I did want to show you what the page looks like in the book. <clears throat> Social Security and Medicare. Did you ever notice FICA box on your paycheck stuff? I'm sure if you're working, you have noticed that. Employers match employee contributions to Social Security and Medicare. What are these matching funds used for? Well, in our reading, um, it talks a little bit about that. Let's take a look at example one from page 317 on our text. It says, Romero got his first job in 2006, and in that year, Social Security taxes uh, were 6.2% of income up to $94,200, and Medicare tax was 1.45%. If Romero earned $73,210 in 2006, how much did he pay for Social Security and Medicare taxes? To determine that, all we need to do is turn our percentages into uh, decimals and multiply them by this fellow's income, Romero, who uh, did not go over the maximum for Social Security. So, we have 73,210 times 6.2% is a decimal, 0 0.062. You plug that into your calculator and you get 4,539 and 2 cents. 
We do the same thing for Medicare. We multiply his entire income times 1.45% as a decimal. So this is 0 0.0145. And that equals about $1,061.55. To get how much he paid total, we add them together. He paid five thousand six hundred dollars and fifty seven cents. Get that down in your journals, and we will go to our next slide. If you're watching at home, you can stop the video and start it when you're ready. All right, go over your notes, underline what's important, circle the 10 in your left-hand column. And here is a copy of today's assignment. It's page 319, application problems 2 through 4. However, as you know, our assignment is in Canvas. It will be assignment number 11, number 11 for this week. Thank you. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.